So what are the most common mistakes that you might be doing in test series? So let's discuss about those things. So first is first one is how to use rough copy. So you must watch the previous video. I have discussed about uh, the test series. When shall you start test series? What kind of test series you should start right now? Those video you can watch just the previous video. Now, what are the common mistakes? The first mistake is how to use rough, rough copy. Please use your rough copy properly. How to utilize it? I have discussed in the previous video. Next mistake is please check the question. I also make this mistake. Like I, I will not lie I, uh, as if I don't make this mistake. I make this mistake. I read the question. Right? At the end, they might have asked in some other unit. Instead of kilowatt, they might have asked in watt. Or instead of watt, they might have asked in megawatt. But I will uh, get my answer in watts and I will put that in the NAD type number, right? But that will be wrong because they have asked in kilowatt. So you will go wrong. So please check the units. Please check with a negative sign, whether you are getting a negative value or positive value. Be very careful. And please, how to use the gate calculator? There is a video. Watch that video. How to use the gate calculator? These three are the most common mistakes that everyone does. Okay. Now, one more thing is there that you should always attempt your test series question fairly, right? You should not attempt it like you are lazy, lying in bed. No. Whenever you are attempting the test series, sit on a table chair, just copy the environment of your actual gate examination. The way you will attempt your actual gate examination, that way only you should attempt a series so that you can increase your concentration and so that you are habituated with uh, attempting test series and sitting in table chair, right? So make sure you're attempting it fairly. Don't just attempt in a lazy manner that will be more harmful to you. Now, uh, next point what we can discuss is if you are getting few good questions from test series, right? If you are receiving some good questions from test series, which you feel that can be help, help, helpful. So either you can start, you can, I think, save those questions. There is an option to bookmark those questions or you can keep a copy notebook where you can put your uh, questions or you can have a PDF. Like if you have pen type, you can put the screenshot of that question there. You can put the answer there. So you can document, basically document that question. If you feel that that question is relevant to gate examination and that was a good concept um, revision question. So with single question, you can revise a lot of concepts. Then you can put that concept in your like question series, in any copy. Also, one more thing that you can document. This will come slowly with attempting more test series. The more test series you attempt, you will see you are making a single kind of mistakes multiple times. Now, there is actually no remedy to this. There is no remedy to, his, uh, remedy to it, right? But uh, one thing you can do, although I, I cannot guarantee you it will help you or not, but just to have a peace of mind, what I used to do was I used to have a very small, small diary, small copy like this thing, where I used to write the uh, my mistakes. Let's say I uh, every time I used to divide by two or multi, uh, like instead of multiplying by two, or I used to put a negative sign by mistake. Any mistake that I used to do, I will note those things down if you write those things down that will help you while remembering when you when you will attempt the next question that you don't mess up also uh, initially as i have told in my previous video as well don't try to hurry or pace up you can go slow try to reduce your silly mistakes then slowly you can work upon your speed speed will come later so these are a few common common mistakes that i have seen most of the students do also please don't try to attempt test series even before completing your gate PYO course. At least complete a bit of portion of your gate PYO course so that you are accustomed with the questions. What kind of questions can be asked so that when, once you go and attempt the test series, it is nothing like it is completely new. And initially, please don't get demotivated if you are getting low marks. That is totally fine. People who have attempted our tests, right? That is a bit difficult on the higher side. Difficulty is on the higher side. So you might get low marks. You don't need to be demotivated. That is not your final gate marks. Trust me, your final gate marks will be much better than your test series marks because test series is just for observing your mistakes and rectifying those. That's why it is the test series. It is a mock test, right? Actual exam will happen in gate and don't worry, your actual exam will go well. So don't feel stressed if your marks are coming low. It is okay. Everyone mostly gets low marks initially. Slowly, it will be improved. So these are few common mistakes. If you want any other video regarding any other strategy or any other topic, you can obviously put it down in the comments below. I will be always happy to help. So with that, I will meet you in the next video. Until then, happy learning.